Uh, hello, chat. Welcome back. This is so ominous. Welcome back to the Pokemon Ultra Sun Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last stream, I wasn't nearly as scared as I am right now, but we're here and we're we're ready to play video game before we get into anything. My God, I'm terrified. Let's do a little team recap. I got nothing to say, because you know what? You know what I realized, actually? I say the exact same thing at the beginning of every single one, and I know you YouTube viewers are probably annoyed by that. You're like, this, this guy won't shut up. He just forgets everything. But I remember that I don't remember. So take that. Starting out, we've got, um, uh, okay, to be fair, I have no idea what variant of Necrozma this is. What is that called? Do we just call it Big Necrozma Ultra? Because the game is ultra sun and... Thank you, chat. I wouldn't have figured that one out. Uh, it has Metal Claw, Confusion, Slash, and Stored Power. It's really strong. That's all you need to know. And we have Morberry, uh, another Morbius character in our collection. It's our chair with Morning Sun, Tackle Growth, and Leech Seed. I forgot we named this Pidussy. Pidussy, our pit of with Gust, Air Cutter, <laughs> Leer, and Quick Attack. I thought they were all Morbius based. I didn't remember this one. Then we got Gorbius, we're back on track. Don't worry, we're back on track. Uh, Gorbius is Giraffe Rig with Stomp, Assurance, Confusion, Odor Sleuth. Next, Trains! Our Leafy on with Quick Attack, Tail Whip, Sand Attack, and Baby Doll Eyes. And finally, Kevin, our Basketball Superstar Starter, still living with Extra Sensory, Lava Plume, Bite, and Leer. Our team is a little, a little banged up, but aside from that, I think we're all good. But here's the deal. Because we're in a, a pretty weird part of the beginning of the game, there is a strong potential we can make it further than we ever have. Isn't that exciting? Doesn't that make you want to be on the edge of your seat? I'm not even sitting. I am squatting right now. I'm so excited. I don't even need my seat. Skip the edge. All right, first part of today, uh, we have to take on Hal and his uh, Rowlet, presumably something completely different. But our team is fire flame. No way this can go wrong. And you know what, usually I jinx myself, but I have literally have the god of this game. How could this be a loss? Let's see if Darkrai. You have a Luxio. It, it doesn't even have an animation. I'm fine. How can I lose to a Pokemon with no animation? Kevin's got it. I just don't want Kevin to over level because that would be kind of unfortunate. That's only level 13. It's a Luxio. If we fight a Chansey, I might be upset. But aside from that. But aside from that, I think we're fine. Bonk. Yeah, we're good. Dude, I don't have shift. I need to turn that on. Okay, on the upside, we're fine. One Loploon, you're gone. See ya. Okay. Okay, so I don't, I had to turn up the experience share because I can't use Kevin. <gasps> All right, now I need to hard swap. This, this is no bueno. Okay, what, what in the world do I go in? Necrozma? I don't even know what your stats are, but I imagine many. That's your stat. Just every stat is just many. Too large for numbers. Fire? Because it's bright out? Okay, we're fine. All right. One Pokemon left. We got it. We're in the money. If I can take it on a Ho-Oh, like... I, I can't imagine we lose this battle. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I think we're gonna make it out of this battle. Uh, yeah, especially with Metal Claw, we're good. See you later. All right, easy battle. I mean, it wouldn't have been easy if we didn't have Entei or Necrozma, but you know what? Hey, I don't make the rules. I just play the game very poorly at that. All right, Hala, Hala, Hala battle. Dancer, <laughs> bro, you are not dancing. Oh. Our largest weakness is going to be the electric typing. So hopefully, as long as they don't have any electric types, we can probably get through this battle just fine. I love, it. we've never addressed this, but all the people in the background, they're just there. Like they don't, like look at, what was that guy doing? He was just, just waiting in anticipation. He just looks like he's in pain. Also, he has a twin. How few models do they have in the game if there are only eight people in the crowd and they have to reuse them? I would like to then say with the math, that would that would make it like seven. <gasps> Wait, you outspeed. This is not good. I guess I had to go into Necrozma then. This is the first Pokemon. It looks so slow. It has to be. I've seen Detective Pikachu. It's literally a, a, an entire mountain that moves. It's not fast. 
How is it faster than the bird? Somebody explain that. Scientists? Okay, Torterra down. Let's just bring the difficulty down just a little bit. We literally said Kieran Black would be the worst Pokemon to show up. What? That's not fair. We have all, every single one of us in chat has been scammed by the video game. Do I attack? I can use Metal Claw. It's just like, I'm pretty sure it just one shots me after. You guys are really adamant about that. All right, you know what? I will trust, I will use Metal Claw right now. I trust you, chat. I'm so nice to you guys. I'm so nice to you guys. Why would you do that to me? I think I have to sack a Pokemon. It's gotta be Gorbius because it's the only, well, sorry, Morbear was too clutch. I can't get rid of trains. So yeah, we gotta get rid of this. We gotta get rid of Gorbius, I think. Hit up is trash. Are you disrespecting the Pedussy? That's crazy. That's so offensive. Goodbye, horse. Okay. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. Worry a little bit. Just a little. Okay. Okay. Hey, I took it down. I took it down. We're good. Okay. Well, at least I have coverage for this. Have you ever thought of making it so every battle is 2v2 to spice things up? Brother, I can't make it through the base game. What makes you think I could do 2v2s? That's crazy. That's actually the craziest thing anybody's ever asked me. You want me to, what's next? Rotation battles for every, every encounter? Once again, Cherim shows its, its ultimate power. I'm not even gonna say it, Mega Pidgeot, but like, don't do that. I said it fast enough for them to not know what I'm saying. Okay, Mian Chao, still absolutely terrifying. I want to Leech Seed, but I'm worried about high jump kick, but also I'm a little bit of a risk taker. Mmm, see? All right, now I need a Morning Sun. It's level 15, what high jump kick? Listen, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. If it had it, I'd be like, wow. Also, yeah, look at that calc. Can you believe that skill? Well, that's not good. Uh, let's growth. I cannot believe we're using growth for tackle, but this is our only option. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is not good now. At this rate, there's no reason to switch because it's probably gonna one shot anything now. Look at that damage. You are plus three. Oh my God. Wait, can I knock it out from here? It's gotta be a roll, but I think Cherim can do it. You get the crit! Oh my god, Cherim is cracked! The greatest gamer of all time! And you get magical, I mean, that, that would have been great, like, four seconds ago, but I love the spirit. Chat, I have huge news. This might change everything. Last night, I charged my doorbell. Not trying to brag, but I charged my doorbell. It was dead for, like, a week. <laughs> so anybody that would ring it, I wouldn't hear it. Has one charged doorbell? I have one of the ones that has the camera in it. So you press it and then it makes a noise. And okay, let me tell you, I will wholeheartedly admit it's absolutely useless because when I bought it, when I got the doorbell, I was like, okay, cool. Let's just mount it in and everything. Chat, when I tell you, this was the largest hassle I've ever had across every adventure of owning a home. For some reason, buying a video doorbell was the, the largest hassle I had. So when I got it, I was like, perfect. Let's set up the doorbell. And on the app, it'll tell you all the things and be like, okay, step by step, let's set up your doorbell. So I'm looking through the steps, it's like, take it out of the package. I'm like, okay, cool. It's like, look at all the, the, the equipment and tools that are in it, make sure everything's there. I'm looking, like, yeah, okay, everything's there, perfect, sounds good. And it's like, all right, now let's mount it on your door. And I was like, perfect. If you have vinyl siding, you can just drill it right into your house. And I was like, perfect. And so I walk out with a drill, <laughs> turn around, Chad, I have a brick house and I was trying to drill with like a regular little corded drill. And I'm like, there's no shot this thing's going in. So I bought, keep in mind, I had like one of the stupid ones where you just, it has to, it was like a really, really weak drill. 
So, but then I bought all the contractor stands and chat are going to go crazy with this. I bought an impact driver. If you don't know, an impact driver is just a drill, but it brings force. So you don't have to push on it. It just does all the pushing for you. They're really sick. 100% 10 out of 10 recommend. I bought one of those for like 90 bucks. To, just for my doorbell, by the way. And so I started drilling. I also bought drill bits to drill into this. Didn't work. I only made it a little bit in and then it just stopped after a while and it started heating up. And I was like, okay, that's not good. That's also not good. So I made it maybe this much in to the wall. I'm like, well, I can't drill it now. So I bought another drill, except this time I bought one specifically for brick. So if the other one that I just bought wasn't already useless, this was top tier useless. I bought a hammer drill, which is specifically for driving into brick and like thick walls, like concrete. I also had to buy masonry drills because the drills I had were not compatible. And so eventually I was able to drill it all in and it was all set up. And then I found out I didn't have the wires to rig it to my doorbell. So it was always turned on. So I have to charge it. Like every three months, I have to take it out of my the front of my house and charge it. So what did I learn? I already had a doorbell, but here's the benefit is that if anybody shows up to my house, like, cause I get so many of the people with like the, the classic clipboard be like, hey, did you know you, there are termites? Did you know those exist? We can take care of that. At least three times a week, somebody's gonna come up to my door telling me about something that, not that I have it, but potentially could be an issue. But here's one other thing about the doorbell that I didn't understand. So with the doorbell, because it's not rigged up to my house, right? Cause I have the regular doorbell and then I have the, the, the video doorbell. When you press the doorbell and it rings, it only rings outside there's no speaker for the inside so i had to buy a speaker that connects to the doorbell which was like 30 dollars and i put it in my kitchen when i press it, it goes bing boom and it echoes into the one in my kitchen but here's the thing i can't hear it upstairs so i spent another 30 bucks on another one for upstairs so in total i spent like 400 dollars to install a doorbell that it dies every three months, but it looks cool. So it's all good. All right, let's get in a, an encounter in, at the 10 carat hill with my, the, I can only use this ball, no other ball. So I better catch it. What do we get? Show it, show it, present it. <sighs> I don't know. I'll just throw one ball. I'm not even using the premier ball. I cannot fathom using this monster at any point. Check this out. Skills uncontested. Are you joking? Isn't Gorbius dead? Eh, no, not, I mean, define dead. I think dead is kind of like a vague term. It doesn't matter, we got a replacement. We got the replace right here, so that's all good. I don't think we've ever named it this, but Miss Jack. Just me and me and my plant, everyone. Yo, I'm just chilling with me and my Pedussy. Uh, how about this? Do you even fit? That's not right. That something went wrong for this one. Okay, that's fine. Me when I look at my Pedussy. All right, we need to get out of here. Chat, we've done. We've done it. This is this is the second time I've ever been to the second island which is pretty cool. That doesn't mean much, but potentially this could be the furthest run ever. Okay, here is a, uh, what's your Dexio? It's not, Boss Kate, of course. Which by the way, our level cap, now that we're on the island is level 20. So our Pokemon cannot exceed that level or else we can't use them. And currently I am level 19. So that's not good, uh, but I'm trying my best. Oh boy, okay, I think we're fine. YouTube VODs are better than Twitch VODs because you can watch them on mobile at two times speed. Oh, I didn't know that. That probably explains why my watch time is ridiculous on, on the VOD channel. The average watch time is 30 minutes. It's not like nine people are watching them. It's a pretty insane number. Anyways, we, we're done with this battle. Okay, round four, we do get uh, uh, blessed with a brand new encounter. What do we have here? I mean, 
It's not great, but like, it's kind of cool in a way. I am kind of a fan. Is that weird to say? Oh, you are level 20. You're probably not living that, are you? Well, hey, that was a fun, that was a fun moment we had, everybody. Did you guys have fun? I didn't, but. All right, we have a battle against Hao, which is kind of scary, considering that we are really, really, really close to the level cap. But here's the thing. We also have a battle after this, so we're probably gonna hit it anyways, but, but I will do my best to avoid it. Great. Yeah, that is kind of bad. Oh, this can't go well. <laughs> okay, that's a physical move, so the quiver dance did nothing. It just outsped me. That's fine. I think I, I think I eat that. I'm pretty sure I eat that. Yeah, we're fine. Nah, chat, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We're chilling. I hate moves that aren't 100%. If I was the director of Pokemon, I would make it so every move hit 100%. Oh, wow. And remove Sheer Cold? No, keep it. I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think we're good. We're doing better. We're doing way better. Hey, John, can you cancel the subathon so we can get some ramen? Actually, Carthro, I got ramen yesterday, so no. Sorry. Wait, it was the Crawdon I killed. This is huge. Picking up my leftovers. My Crawdon sloppy seconds. Am I gonna cook during the subathon? Um, yes. But also no, because my like my diet's very not cooking. It's like air fryer action. <laughs> this is so bad. How will we get through it? That was really close, guys. All right, let's get another encounter. Ranch. Okay, this Pokemon sucks, but I like it. You guys like ginger beer? It's like basically a, a, do I catch you? No. It's basically just a stronger tasting ginger ale. I know you see the the word beer and you're like, uh, it's John, I can't drink it. I'm still in high school. In that case, go do your homework. But ginger beer is great. Anyways, I caught this Pokemon, observe. How about Morbiodon? <laughs> he doesn't like Morbius, he's just very overweight. So, if we talk to you, we get a, an egg. So, what is inside this? What is in this egg? It's an egg! Oh my god! All right, let's see. What is in this egg? Take anything. Anything. Can I change my statement? Gligar's okay. I just can't evolve it. Like, Gliscor is crazy. The most archaic name possible. Archibald. Ah, yes, me and my good friend Archibald used to s hit the ball around with the little stick in the street. This is the greatest day of my life! I just used that as an excuse to get a protein bar. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get an encounter. What can we find here? Bat! That's how we do it over here. That's how we do it. Alright, we got a Noibat. Noibius. I watched a knockoff Disney movie. It was Finding Nemo, but it was a religious Finding Nemo. It was called Finding Jesus. I swear, chat, I watched a pretty substantial amount of it, and it is so bad, I want somebody to review it, just so everybody knows. It got recommended to me, like on um, Amazon, like Prime Video, they have like the, the recommended section. I'm scrolling through because I'm, I'm, chat, I'm the pickiest person when it comes to movies. And, it is so insanely low budget that the entirety of it are is just 3D fish models. Their mouths don't match any of their speaking lines and it's all on a green screen. And it's like a two hour long movie, by the way. And this is a kid's movie. What 
kid is gonna sit through a two hour movie. Cause Finding Nemo is like a little over an hour, right? All it is, water background, fish talking. You know what, I could show you. The, the odds of them seeing this and taking down the stream would be astronomically low. Chai, you wanna watch a movie with me? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm telling you, the entire movie is this frame. I could click any random point of the movie, it will be the exact same esque frame where fish and background ready i'm gonna pick some random spot okay that was a bad one to choose because this is when they're transitioning through parts of the story let me pick another one okay maybe i lied to you point is these are the following frames in the movie right you have these two main characters talking to somebody right and then of days like today you have the zoomed in one of each character, right? And their mouth movements don't match. So do we, Professor Shark. That's right. Jesus sure has blessed us with lives in such a beautiful underwater universe. They're just people talking. By the way, look at how long they talk. It is just talking. It is, that's it. That's the, you can see the frames. It's just the same, f like three perspectives. The entire movie, the whole time. That's it. But let me tell you about one part of it that's crazy. It blew my mind. I was watching this with a friend. I wasn't watching it alone. It's just for clarification. There's one part of it. Okay, there is this here. This part right here. Muggles and Joy swim off to see their friend, the grumpy Mr. Sushi. They're going to see this guy named Mr. Sushi. If you're not sitting down right now, Please sit down. You're gonna need to grip it for this one. Hey, Mr. Sushi. What are you two read? Oh, I'm playing Picross now, by the way. I paused it at the perfect time. Take a guess what he's about to say next. You two, and it starts with an R. Dora Fish doing. Here's the best part of this. Let me show you the cast of Finding Jesus. Oh, you can't. Wait. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> It is the whitest guy I've seen in my entire life. Not only does he voice like almost every character, he also uh, is the shark at the beginning. He is Mr. Sushi. Why are a girls right? What you two did was wrong. You know, Mr. Sushi, you know what you did? That was wrong. Um, racism. Oh my God. But when I saw that, I was like, there's no shot. They got away with that. Anyways, hey, let's play some Pokemon. Alright, let's have a battle against Gladion. Four Pokemon. Didn't you had that last time? Stop. Get rock blasted, you nerd. <gasps> oh, you're really trying. Great! Bird! I I think we're fine. <coughs> Just don't make your last Pokemon Chansey and we're totally fine. Well, that's not good. I can hit it with Rock Blast, but the issue is one, it's a dark type. So that's not good for me. Ah, okay. No, don't do it. No! <gasps> okay, we're out, we're out, we're leaving, we're leaving. Um. That was so fast. Oh my god, you killed him. Stop. Stop. Okay. I can grow if the like. This is not looking very good for us right now. Here's my big brain play. I grass whistle, it lands, and then I go into Necrozma and Rock Blast. No, cause you have, there's no chance. It's 55 accuracy and you double team twice. There's no shot. I'll try sand attack, but like, chat, we're, we're ripping through this team. It's faster. <laughs> oh my God. you better pray that we land this move. If I land Rock Blast, we are looking so good.
Nah, Pedassi got this for sure. You slowed it down. It looked like you were gonna live. Morbio done! Got this for sure. Protect? Bro, protect what? <gasps> oh, leech scene. So true. So true. Should I double protect? Do I run it on the double protect? Clutch. Wait, so how does that work? If I if I go for protect in this turn and I don't land it, and then I go for protect the next turn, is it still going down because I keep continuously using it and it's punishing me? Or is it reset the counter when I miss? It'll be 100% after a miss. Okay, could get three. Oh my God! Hold on! No! If this thing sets up, we might we might be in luck. No shot we get four. Ah! <gasps> ah! Why? Why do you have that move? All right, we protect again, so it's fine. Oh, I have taunt. True. I didn't know that! If I triple protect, I heal all the way. Come on. Come on! Please! Chat, this is for all the marbles! <laughs> Dude, we were so close! Oh my god, that would have been insane! Bro, how does a level 14 shield on hold it down better than the rest of my team? Another run down. I say we run it back. Johnstone be like, why did we lose the run? My brother in Christ, you killed all the Pokemon. True. But this is a different run! Run 11? Can't fail! Alright, chat. You're telling me we can have wishy-washy again? Dude. Sign me up. I'm ready. Luminion? True. Kyogre, too. All right, to no surprise, you guys want Kyogre, which I get it. I get it. But here's the real question. Kyogre's great on its own, but is it? The ultimate Kyogre. I deserve a Primal. I just lost an Akrozma and an Entei in one run. I don't deserve anything. Let's be real. I know I said it last time, but this has to be the run. Yeah, I think we'll name it Sushi. All right, let's fight. Uh, how? What do you What do you have? There's you don't have any. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you have the other Pokemon. Okay, cool. That's a that's fitting. There's we take up so much of the screen. My God. Oh oh oh, are you wimpy and useless? Dude, my fin covers you. You're not even part of the conversation. Oh, and I have the little primal icon too. And in the, in the that's neat. I've never had one, so this is this is new to me. Here's our encounter! Here it is! I totally forgot. Oh! All right, it is Ludo. Okay, here's our Hala battle. Chat, I I have a Primal Kyogre. What is what is Skiplin going to do? Did I not just fight you two or found you in the wild? Either way. Bonk. Can I get um Nope, guess not. I watch Gary V. Gary V is a crazy man. You guys know who Gary V is? He's like he's an entrepreneur. Who's like, he's like almost a social media entrepreneur who's huge on like his ideas. While most of them are honestly good ideas, they're insane. Like it's just the, the way that he explains it is insane. Like somebody asked him if he, if he, something about him like humbling himself or something or to like enjoy his youth. 
or something. He's like, okay, so basically what I do is like, it's really simple, it's really simple. So like every morning in the shower, I close my eyes and for five minutes, I just imagine my mom dies. Just my whole family just gets completely killed. And then when I, when I get out of the shower, I am really happy that my parents are alive, so I have a great day. That was actually a real thing that he said. He said that in the shower, he thinks about his parents dying every day. Is he Ben Shapiro? He kind of sounds like Ben Shapiro if I'm not, if I'm being honest. All right, let's get an encounter. Okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, so I can't attack you with water move. Oh, wait, wait, did it cancel out? Oh, it's a regular. I thought it was primal. My bad, my bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna AP. I think AP is fine. Don't we pay like 10K to get the primal thing? The little... That's the transformation sound. Nine balls. No shot we're catching this. I want this so bad! Can I just get one shake just so it's real? We're halfway through. Come on, baby. Come on. You match the ball. It's destiny. Okay, maybe that's your last agent power. I live on one. I live on one. I live on one. <gasps> Chat, as hype as it would be to catch this, we gotta leave. I'm afraid that if I run, I can't run. That's insane. I don't know how I got out of that. That's crazy. Chat, the chance of catching that was a 0.3% chance. All right, we are taking on the teacher. Easy win. I would have been easier with Groudon, but like I mopped everything on the way to here. So I think we're fine. Okay. I mean, either way, even if it was Mega, I think we'd be chilling, but like, yikes. One water pulse. That's all we need. Oh, I should have done it in, in um, strong style. That would have done more damage. Oh, it knocked out anyways. Okay, we're good. Great! I did it, chat! Somehow, I don't know how I did it with this Pokemon. It sucks, but I made it work. Hey, let's get an encounter! Oh! Oh my god! We're back, baby. This is a rare moment, because we love trains, right? We get to pick our evolution if we make it that far, which we probably won't, but still in the moment. Sick. Please don't kill it. Well, that was the goal. Yes, I won't. That would out that would be what I would do. I would do a full windmill throw like that. You have to say gotcha. I remember saying that on Game Facts when I was like playing Diamond and Pearl as a kid. They were like, if you say it into the mic, it activates. And I I can't believe that I fell for that. Every time I would throw the ball, I'd be like, gotcha! Oh, that one didn't work. Maybe it didn't hear me. Gotcha! Let's try it. Gotcha! See, it doesn't work. Come on. Bring it home! For the fans! We did it! You were here. All right, Trains is back on the team. And hopefully, I, I think we should do it this way. Whatever the next evolution stone we get is what it will be. I want a Vaporeon so bad. Actually, no, I have, no, nah, we'll do a water team. I'm fine with water team. Twains! Back on the team. Why do I want a Vaporeon? It's a cool Pokemon. Why not? You guys don't like Vaporeon? Is this an inside joke? I don't know. I feel like it is, and I should probably stop talking, huh? But not read the copy pasta? It's on Reddit. Great start. <clears throat> hey guys, did you know in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for humans? Not only are they in the field egg group, which is mostly comprised of mammals, Vaporeon are on average three feet, three inches tall and 63.9 pounds. This means they're large enough to be able to han handle human all right, I think that's gonna do it for today. Well, today we made a lot of progress, and here's the best thing, I got a little man. And tomorrow, I mean the goal is we're gonna make some more progress. Maybe a little man will make a decision tomorrow. Will you do anything? Probably not. All right, chat, well that's gonna do it for me today. Now I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next stream where we potentially will get off this island again. All right, chat, I will catch you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for all the primes, appreciate you. I'll see you guys later.